Hello guys, welcome to the third episode of my tutorial series. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make doors and I think this is going to be the final episode in Blender. So after that we move on and export everything and import it into Unity and then I'm going to show you how to set the scene up in Unity. But let's start with the today uh, with today's tutorial. So first I'm going to make Blender full screen. And then I'm open, uh, and then I'm going to open the apartment. So, this is where we left off. The last time we applied the materials, and also did the UV unwrapping, so that we can apply textures in Unity. And now, the only thing that we are going to uh, need are doors, because right now we only have the door frames. So, to make a door. We're going to move the 3D cursor uh, to a place around here. So just click here and the 3D cursor will appear, as you can see. And then we're pressing Shift and A. We can add a new mesh and we add a cube. So this is going to be our cube. Ah, and I forgot to mention, make sure that you are in object mode because otherwise the store will be part of the apartment mesh and this is going to cause some problems when we actually start to add some game logic. Okay, so now select the cube and then tap into edit mode and just start to scale it so that it gets the shape of a door. So by pressing S for scale and then we want to scale it on the Y axis. We can scale it in. And again I forgot to turn on the screencast keys. So I'm going to display them so you can see what I'm doing. So we scaled it in. And now what we're going to do is we move up the cube and move it on the X axis so that this yellow dot this yellow point here is called the origin point of the object it basically determines how this object is going to rotate later on and this is important because um, we want to open a door so the object should rotate like a door. I'm going to show you what I mean in just a minute. So first put it there and then go back into object mode and put it into place. So I want to have it somewhere around here so that it aligns with this wall. And I'm going back into the edit mode. And if I want to edit this side of the door but I can't see it, I can press Z to change into wireframe mode. You can also do this by going down here and changing from solid mode into wireframed. And then click on here and start to drag it in. Make sure that the face of the apartment here and the face of the door here don't overlap. So you can check this by going outside and if you're in edit mode and this would be outside, you can actually see it. So just make sure that it's not on the outside so that you don't have um, them overlap here because it would cause some problems later on. And then we are going to grab the top face here and just start to drag it up. So drag it up and that's about it. And now if I go back into the object mode by pressing tab or again going down here. And now if I rotate it around the Z axis, so press R for rotate and then Z because we want to rotate on the Z axis. And now if I start to rotate by, uh, by moving my mouse, you can see that this is actually behaving like a door. So we can open and close it. 
So to cancel, just um, left click. No, I'm sorry, right click. Um, okay. And now what I do, uh, what I do now is I'm going to make the door a little bit thinner. So I select everything with A. So um, to deselect, press A, and then to select everything again, press A again, and then press S for scale on the Y axis, and just scale it. Oops, just scale it in so that it becomes a little bit thinner. You can see here. Uh, that uh, how thin it is. So I want to make it a little bit thicker. Uh, about that, and also move this in because we don't want to see it on the outside. So just a little bit. Okay, and that's about it for um, this part of the door. And now. Go back into the edit mode, deselect everything with A, and now press Shift and A while you're in edit mode, and add a UV sphere. This is a um, sphere, so click on it, and now a sphere has, has spawned. Down here, under segments, make this 16, and under rings, make this 8 so that we have less faces and then just scale just press S and move your mouse down and then move it up and put it where you think the doorknob is going to be so put it around there and then look at it in object mode that seems about right for me and then we're going to duplicate this with Shift D, click, and then we're, I'm going to put it on the other side. Um, so now we have a door that actually looks like a door, and now we only have to do one more thing, because right now this is kind of uh, this is looking kind of blocky. But we want it to look round. So to fix this, we go here under tools where it says shading, press on smooth. And now you can see that it became round. But there's a little problem with this because now you can see the door has some kind of um, strange color and strange shading to it. We're going to fix this by going here under the modifiers tab. This is this little wrench add a modifier and then we're going to add the add split modifier what this is doing it is keeping the edges of the cube or in the door uh, of the door in this case sharp but it's moving the round parts you can adjust this by adjusting this um, angle here so by turning the angle up more get um, more edges gets moved, but I want to put it back to thirty. Um, just going to grab the top uh, top here and put it down a little bit, and I'm going to check the bottom. Yep, and I'm going to put that up as well, just a tiny bit. And now that we have this. We have to check that the scale says all 111 and rotation says 000. If it doesn't for some reason, just press Ctrl and A to apply and then apply the rotation and scale and that should fix it. So now we put it away. And the only thing we have to do now is uh, duplicate it and put it in the right place. So to duplicate, we, we are pressing Shift and D. And now click, and now you can start to drag Oops, um, you can start to drag the door around and just put it into the door frames and 
what you think is right. So I'm going to put mine around here. So I'm going to say Shift D, click, and then we put it around here. Seems about right. Just a tiny bit back. Um, yep. Now I'm going to press Shift D again. Put it on the other side. Um, fits right in there. So putting this around here. And now we only have to fix this. Um, not fix. Um, put a double door inside of here. So we are going to Shift D. And what the heck? Um, move this. in here and then I'm going to rotate it on the Z axis rotate so R and Z and then type in 90 for 90 degrees so I'm putting this inside of here okay and you can see that this door doesn't fit inside of here and another door wouldn't uh, fit also so we have to adjust the scale so we go into the wireframe mode or just select all of it by pressing double A and then press S and on the Y axis and then scale it in And then move it in edit mode so that the point of origin stays there where it was. So just put it there. And now we press Shift and D. Rotate on the Z axis 180 degree. And then we move it to the other side. And now we are just going to adjust this face on both of this, these, uh, some around here. Um, yeah, that seems about right. So now we have a double door here. We have doors inside of here. And we have a door here. So now the last thing we need to do before we are going to export uh, all of this is we go up here, click on the door. And you can see that up here it says cube. We want to rename this to the door one. Then we go here where it says door five and call this door two. Click on this. This is going to be door three. Um, forgot the zero. And then click on this. So this is door number four. Door number five. And finally, door number six. Okay. And now we click on the apartment itself. And where it says plane, just re uh, call it apartment. So now that we gave everything a name, we can finally export it. I'm going to quickly make a folder on my desktop. So I minimize and make a new folder. 
call it apartment and then I'm going back into Blender and click on file export and we are going to export this uh, as an FBX file um, I think you can also save it just as a blend file and import it but um, for, so for some reason it doesn't work for me so I'm going to export this as an FBX file you could try to add just late uh, you could later just try to import the blend file if you want but you could also follow along and just click here on export and then FBX and then I'm going to my desktop going to apartment and it says apartment.fbx then down here we don't want any lamps um, we want the mesh to be important, uh, imported and that's about it we only want the meshes to be imported so um, then click on export fbx and if we go into the folder now um, just let me drag it here you can see that we have an fbx file and this is what we are going to import into unity and in the next episode I'm going to show you how to import all the stuff we need for the tutorial into unity and set up the scene and then we can finally start to add some game logic so if you like what you saw please leave a like and uh, subscribe would really make me happy and if you have any idea how I could improve my tutorials or if you want me to cover anything in detail just leave a comment so until next time